do you want it that way? <sighs> Even though it's nothing but a heartache. Do you want me to show you the meaning of being Tommy? Well, if you don't like this, bye bye bye. <laughs>
it, I can understand why. Okay, when he did the Spice Girls, it was completely different than the original. But for some reason, just his power voice that he uses is almost the same resonant sound and power of an entire boy band singing a corded note together. Have you caught that yet? It's a little weird. Um, now that I've thought about it, I mentioned Bon Jovi, you should redo some of theirs because theirs aren't metal either. They need metal covers. But um, no, Tommy, it's really good. I just, just hate this song so much. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Here's the thing. Like when Tommy does like um, Elton John, I love Elton John stuff. When he does Freddie Mercury, love Freddie Mercury. All the Disney stuff, psh, Disney nerd right here. But I really don't like boy bands. So when he does this, it's like, it's Tommy. So it's really, really well done. But deep down inside, I know this is from a place of pure evil. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I've listened to Cattle Decapitation. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, that doesn't come from pure evil. It just comes from meat product. There's a difference. Yes, boy bands are worse than abusive meat product. I've said it. I've said it. Okay, let's finish it out. Good. <laughs> that was a Steve Perry run. Did you hear that? Wait, no, did you hear it? Oh. Yeah, that was old school journey Steve Perry run, man. That was good. I still hate this song though. <laughs> That was good. Dear God. If anything, if anything that we've learned here, um, yeah, okay, good, good thumb up there, Tommy. Um, one thing that we can rest assured, uh, if you're a Sabaton fan and you're catching any of the rest of their concerts here in the U.S. in the next week or so, um, do, do not be surprised. Do not be surprised if sometime during the show, Joachim looks over at Tommy. Okay, I'm going I'm to I'm do my best, Joachim. You ready? It's going to be bad. But I'm gonna do my best one, okay? So Joachim's gonna go. So does everyone want to see here Tommy sing? And everyone's gonna go, like everyone's gonna scream, and you're gonna hear a lot of female scream because the ladies love the Tommy. It's just you can't avoid it, right? And then as soon as Joachim says that, because he's gonna want Tommy to sing and show how talented he is to the amazing Sabaton fans that have never heard Tommy do his stuff. And as soon as Tommy's about to do something special. Chris is going to say something like, Tommy, will you show us the meaning of being lonely? Or, Tommy, are you a boy from the back street? T Chris will say something that will literally, that if you're in the crowd of a Sabaton sh show and you've seen this and you're a fan of Tommy's channel, you'll go, yes, because you'll, you'll get the joke. Because when I was at the Houston show, Yo Keem's like, 
Hey everyone! Okay, I'm gonna do my bad Joachim impersonation again. You ready? Here we go. Because I'm not Swedish, I kind of suck at this, okay? Hey everyone! Do you want to hear a song from Tommy? And everyone's gonna go, yeah! And then Chris goes, sir, are you gonna like sing like some Spice Girls or something? Because it's Chris. If you go to a Sabaton show, I can promise you four things. Number one, Joachim is going to beat his thigh a lot. Um, uh, the uh, Mr. Von Dahl, giant tank. Huge drum set. That dude has way too much fun. Um, Pear, huge smile. He's like year-round Santa. That dude is jolly the whole time. And Chris will mess with the guys the whole set. It's like his pet. It's like his favorite thing to do. Play guitar, mess with the guys on set. That's what he does. All right. So this was uh, Tommy Johansson. Show me the meaning of being lonely by the Backstreet Boys. I still hate the song. I'm not into boy bands, but his notes, his guitar, the arrangement, he did a really good job, man. It makes me almost want to listen to it again. And because it's Tommy, I will. I will. I mean, I might put it on the playlist for the girls. They might like it. Uh, if only if they go, my daughters both sing. One of them's in choir and they just love to listen to Tommy hit those notes. And they're like, Go, boy! And they, they do that. So, anyway. <laughs> hey, everybody. Glad to be back. My name is Old School Nerd. Hey, love one another. Take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mob ball together. Remember, hey, Epica and Sabaton still out on tour. Get your tickets now. Also, don't forget, next week, Bloodywood Week. Yeah, we're kicking it off with uh, the Snake Drummer on Sunday. We'll see you later. Um.